Jesus Christ. Ha! Check this out, man. Democrats are so pissed off that their golden bitch Hillary Clinton did not win the 2016 election. So you know what they do? They ask Jacob Greenberg, aka his pseudonym Mark Zuckerberg, what you didn't notice, you didn't he was Jacob Greenberg. The same guy who's the grandson of David Rockefeller! But anyway, they collude with Mark Zuckerberg and Jackass Horsey and all the people who usurp political rights on social media to silence anyone that supports the Republican Party and the entirety of the Republican Party itself when really all they're really doing they're not silencing them no they're shadow banning them oh oh yeah no don't shadow ban me oh And the Democrats still, two years after the fact, have no idea whatsoever as to why Hillary lost the 2016 election to Donald Trump. So they promote Agenda 21 and get on the propaganda bandwagon of Russia, Russia, Russia. God, man. Honest to freaking God. Okay, okay, I'll, I'll give you a few more things. Okay, okay, check this shit out. Check this out. Here is the thing. So Anne Hathaway comes up with a joke about how people like my fellow friend on Twitter, LA Tiffany One, says that, I mean, Anne Hathaway accused people like her of living in fear daily. This is what she has to say. Dear Anne Hathaway, I do not live in fear daily. Stop speaking for me. I don't need you or your out of touch, lip-tarded Hollywood grandiloquent pals pontificating with a savior complex to save me. You want to save something? Save your career. Girl, bye. It's just that fucking simple. We are not victims! We got this! Exactly. Exactly. Time to put it home, man! <laughs> oh, man! Oh, the Philadelphia City, yay! Yeah, you dumbass Philadelphia mayor. And it's also a shithole city, too. By the way, your entire state is also a shithole state. Thanks to stank ass pieces of crap like you. Huh? Now get this. Get this. Maxine Waters threatens to reverse Trump's tax scam if Democrats win Congress. Oh, we already know that's gonna happen. If the Democrats win, which they will never win, even in hell. 
Their golden boy, Hillary, lost to an illegal immigrant named Barry Sotaro, also known by his much more popular pseudonym, Barack Hussein Obama II, in a 2008 Democratic presidential primary. She lost the popular vote. She won the popular vote. She lost the electoral count. Same thing happened in 2016 with the general presidential election against Donald Trump. She won the popular vote because she got countless swaths of retarded, lifeless fuckheads to vote for her stupid ass. But the Electoral College said, you know what, you people are not capable of voting for the right people in Congress, so we're going to override your vote elect Donald Trump to be the President of the United States because Hillary Clinton and her entire family are full of Ponzi schemers and con artists. And you wanted to elect a con artist and a molestation sympathizer to the presidency. Fuck you all. 66 million people voted for this dumb broad! And believe me, you know I'm not making this up, so don't you dare deny it! You stupid cunt! Oh my god, man. If you people had any idea as to why Hillary Clinton lost... By the way, the idea has been under your noses the whole time and you don't give a shit! Walk the hell away from Democrats now! It's absolutely justifiable at this point. In fact, it's encouraged. And don't just walk away from Democrats. Run the hell away as fast as you fucking can. And now let's move on to something completely related but totally unrelated at the same time. Huh? How about that? <laughs> years old says that she wants to be on the Supreme Court for another five years. Well, in five years, it'll be my grandmother's current age of 90, and you'll probably have a pretty bad case of dementia. And my grandmother and her case of dementia pales in comparison to the one that you're going to suffer from. Believe you me. And I'm not just whistling Dixie! I wish I wasn't Dixie! Hooray! Hooray! I mean, fuck. What did you expect me to say? Huh? What did you expect me to say? Alright, let's take a look at some shake. Okay, Ruth Bader Ginsburg, 85 years old, a staunchy, raunchy liberal, and an overriding piece of crap. According to my friend Michael S. Motes, something is about to blow up. Absolutely! It's already blowing up now! The fuck you mean? <laughs> Look at this shit! Oh my god! Oh my god! What is the third day? Do you need to do it? You let it be! Yay! You melt your lady! Yay! 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 
Ah, what about Ruth Bader Ginsburg? Ah, oh, let's get a little bit more on Ruth Bader. On Ruth Bader. Darth Bader. That's what I'll call her now. Ruth Bader. Darth Bader. Uh, fuck. Ruth Master Bader. Yeah, man. <laughs> oh, this is just so much fucking cringe. Oh my god. Oh, I love shitting on liberals all day and damn night. Holy crap. Groove that okay, you know what? Look into this fucking shit. I cannot fan group Bader Ginsburg anywhere. So, I'm going to do the next best thing. I'm going to look her Twitter up. That's right, I'm going to look her Twitter up. Ruth Darth Bader Ginsburg suggests that she has at least five more years on the Supreme Court. She says she's going to work until she's 90. Of course I would too if I got paid $222,500 a year and took naps all day. I might as well be in goddamn kindergarten by this fucking point. Oh my god, is ah! Have you waking up yet? Wake your ass up! Okay. Ruth Bastard Darth Vader Ginsburg. Guess what I'm gonna do here, yeah? I'm gonna block the bastard account. That's right. I'm gonna block it! Blocked! Like a black cock! Ah! Block! Ah, yummy. Yeah, it is That's what I'm talking about. Oi. Oh, <laughs> you, you are not going to believe what she said about the whole damn national anthem kneeling thing. I mean, here's the thing. Here is the thing. She said about those who kneel for the national anthem. Kneeling for the national anthem is dumb and disrespectful. I think it's a terrible thing to do. I would point out how ridiculous it seems to me to do such an act. So if they want to be stupid, there's no law that should be prevented. Well, I disagree with you, Justice Ruth Bader. Honest to God, I can tell you without any doubt in my mind that there should be a law for professional athletes getting paid millions and millions of dollars out of the taxpayer's pocket kneeling during the anthem. That should be illegal. It should be a felony. Have you not figured that out yet? What the fuck is wrong with you, woman? I swear to God. I don't even care anymore. I don't. I'm, I'm just getting to You know, I don't care anymore. You know, you know, that that's what all these fucks want to do. They want to just let these Colin Capper dicks kneel during the anthem with their dicks hanging out, with tattoos all over their dicks. Spelling out the word ISIS in the air, jacking off to Barack Hussein Obama and his transgender wife. What, you didn't know she was a man before she became a woman? You didn't know she was Big Mike before she became Michelle? Then you're just as much a part of the problem as they are, my friend. Now let me tell you now, man. This shit's only getting started. Let me tell you something, people. You are not capable of voting for the right people. If you were, you wouldn't have voted in Obama twice. You wouldn't have voted for Bush. You wouldn't have voted for Bill Clinton. 
you wouldn't have voted for his scumbag piece of shite wife. And you certainly wouldn't have voted for Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez. The shithead who came from the shithole that is Mexico. Avocados for Mexico. I just thought I'd point that out. And, and by the way, by the way, I don't, I don't know that you guys know this or not, but the same people you're voting for are your employees. The people you elect to Congress are your employees. They work for you. You don't work for them. Have you people not figured that out yet? It's like you want me to get a goddamn heart attack. What the hell? Okay, let's just, let's move on to something else. Now, uh, look, you big, big, about this world that no one else will ever uncover because they're too deep up Rossell's dickhole to understand. Now, since election day, the Dow has been up close to 40%, S&P 500, standard and pause for short, up 33%, Nasdaq up 53%, Russell 2000 up 41%. That means we're winning. Winning? Not that it means anything, but whatever. Right? Now I know that you people are too retarded to see that, so I'll just explain it in a way that even you can understand. The reason why the economy's been booming is because of Donald John Trump. The greatest president in American history. It makes you wonder what kind of donkey dick the other four presidents before him have been sucking and fucking. Because at this point, I would say that 28 years of failures have been easily negated by Donald John Trump's effective presidential abilities which were instilled in him by God himself before he was ever born. Now, I need to explain something to you all. You're not going to like it. I'm not going to like it. The fact is, the face of the Democratic Party is a descendant of illegal immigrants who came from shithole countries like Iran and especially Mexico. Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez. The loony look of leftist losers and retards. Are you scared yet? Well, you shouldn't be. By the way, do not just walk away from the Democrats. Run from them as fast as you fucking can before it's too late, because you will not get that chance come election day, because by that point, there is a slight possibility it's virtually non-existent, but there's a slight possibility that the Democrats could brainwash you all into electing them to take over the House. Which will not happen if you don't let them. Here's the thing. 
I do not give two shits about democracy. I think it is a failure and a stillborn experiment from the get-go. It is an immense failure. Here's the thing. The NFL is in league with democracy. The Koch brothers in league with democracy. ABC, CBS, NBC, all in league with democracy. CNN in league with democracy. Retarded liberals are willing to commit harakiri and cut their stomachs open and spill their goddamn guts out to make sure that an 85-year-old, over-the-hill, senile, liberal, retarded judge named Ruth Bader Ginsburg gets to serve on the bench until she's 90. But I already covered that earlier through my other alternative persona, which is actually far more real than the one I'm speaking to you in now. Not the Dems are running on raising taxes to subsidize their income. If that does not tell you anything, nothing will. The Dems are all about obstruction, they are about retardation of the worst kind, of the selective kind specifically. They will not work for you. They only work for one person, and it's not themselves, it's not the Rothschilds, it's Satan. Absolute, 100% Satan. Let me tell you this. You're not going to like it, and I'm not either, but it needs to be told. You people are not capable of voting for the right people. That's why Russia did what they did when they let Julian Assange expose the Democratic Party through his many WikiLeaks about Hillary Clinton. If you people were capable of voting in the right people to work for you, so that you wouldn't have to work for them and be enslaved by their dumbasses, we would have never had a Barack Obama presidency, we would have never had a Jimmy Carter presidency, we would have never had a Bill Clinton presidency or a George H.W. Bush presidency. Hell, I'll even go as far as to say that Al Gore himself would have made a much better president from 2001 to 2009 than that scumbag, retarded Democrat in Republican skin, George H.W. Bush, or the rest of his dumb family. I say that very lightly and very loosely. Because at this point, any Democrat, any supporter of democracy, any social justice warrior that's in league with democracy does not deserve to be called human. They deserve to be treated like shit. They deserve to be treated like animals. Except the difference between liberals and dogs or cats or chickens or anyone in a farm that's an animal, a legit animal, is that farm animals at least know better than Democrats, who by the way, don't give two shits about you or myself. They only care about one thing. They like to soak the donkey stick, cause it's only gonna be! Let's soak the donkey stick for it, yeah! <laughs> you didn't do! Do you understand? It is so goddamn simple, you just have no idea. I mean, honestly.
Christmas to both you, Lord. You vote Republican in the polls this November, or you want your country turn into a wreck. It is just that easy. I have nothing else to say about that. This episode of Spot the Liberal has been brought to you by March of Lord One, a fellow YouTuber, Twitter, wherever the hell he is, and a truth teller, who reminds you all to stop letting your dog say to you, you bastard! It's also been sponsored by Public Corporation, Public Broadcasting, which is paid in almost any part whatsoever by suckers like you!